Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now we're going to be opening the phone lines and this is the point where we get to have you as a part of our conversation today. Today we're talking about public display of affection. When you're in love, you want to scream for the whole world to see. You want the whole world to know. You want to shout from the depth of your lungs that you really love this person. And sometimes it comes out in our actions and how we can get a little too physical with these people in public. Now, are you for or against it and why? The numbers to call on your TV screen. Let's have a little light-hearted banter to kick start us into the weekend. And I get that I'm going to start with this lovely woman here. Have you ever been in love, Must Esther? you always start with me, please? Who will I start with? <laughs> if I don't start with you, who will I? Will I start with the camera or the light or the table? It's you, my darling sister. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's not, let's not look at it from your personal point of view. Others, do you get uncomfortable when you see people around you engaging in public display of affection? No. I actually love PDA. I'm sorry, that's the truth. Yeah, I know, yes. With this yes, Maka, yes, it's okay. It's a Samiri, no problem. Wow. I'm going to accept all the titles. But I do. Because I would um, naturally want to give it to. So it's, it's going to be very, very funny for you to actually just say, yes, you love somebody... I'm a very expressive person. Okay. The same way I'm expressive with words is the same way I am with physical touch. And for me, it's in... Why do I say touch I am inhaling? What is your problem? I thought you were blocking my nose now. <laughs> Can't I inhale properly? I'm saying touch I'm inhaling. I'm not going to let you... But this is my point. PDA is not just for people who are intimately connected. Now, PDA can happen... I, I even go PDA on my father. I peck him on the cheek before I go out every day. And he does that to me PDA and my mom. is not even only between lovers. That's PDA what can I'm be saying. with friends. So public Everybody. display of affection. You're hugging your friend. You're That's holding PDA. your friend and yeah. you're walking down the road. Or your friend's hand, your friend's arm all, uh, across your shoulder. That thing guys do with each other where there's an arm over someone's guys shoulder. Guys do it. Yes, guys do it. Eh. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't, and they do it with girls too. Calm down. I know you want us to get to that level, but... No, no, no. The truth is... People call us. Unfortunately. Before Olive gets this thing out of hand, call us. Let's just talk to you. Call us. <laughs> no, but, but, you know, I actually miss the days when people mm. could innocently hold each other and there was nothing yeah. attached to it. Now, you can't just hold somebody next to you. Know, hmm. There's always some Something's going undertone. On. There's always some romantic or sexual undertone to yeah. every physical act. And I think I'll second the PDA thing with you. Unfortunately, you know, we, we live in a society that doesn't, to an extent, it frowns on yeah. PDA, you know, there's, to an extent we're becoming more woke, quote-unquote, mm -hmm. social media language. We're becoming like the European countries that are more open to physical expressions of yeah. love. So now it's important that, you know, there are things that you can do and get away with in Lagos or in Nigeria, but there are things that when you travel out of the country, you can't get away. We'll look at some of those countries, but first of all, let's speak with Stephen. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Destiny, Hello. how are you? How are you? I'm fine. So, Destiny, is public display of affection a part of your destiny? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year to all of you. Happy New Year. Thank destiny. you very much. Happy New Year to you, too. Thank you. So, Thank do you have you. a problem with public display of affection, Destiny? Hello, sorry. Yeah. We're asking, do you have a problem with public display of affection? Mm, yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> First of all, Destiny. Okay, oh I was going to ask. Lost him. Just maybe we should actually ask, in case people don't know what public display of affection is. So public display of affection is showing someone that you care, not with your words, but with your body language yes. outside. So you're hugging them a little too much. Physical touch, basically. You know, basically. physical touch. You're touching them, hugging, embracing, Kissing, cuddling pecking. them. So, are you? Do you think it's something that should uh, you frown against? Let's listen to Olua Sheon. Good evening, Olua Sheon. Hello. Hello. Hello, please. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Thank please you. turn on the volume of your TV set. Oh, uh, right. the TV is already low. The volume is already turned down. Okay. All right. What's your take on public display of affection, Olua Sheon? Can you come again? What's your take? on public display of affection? Well, uh, what I can say to that is that it gives the notice that something has happened. And it tells them that you have found someone that you want to spend the rest of your life with. 
Are oh. we on the same page? Oh, yes, Olu, I'm I'm I think yes. Okay. okay. I'm coming. Okay. Let me just okay. land. Okay. Let me just land. When you now display what you have found, that these are found this, people will now shift back that this person has found love. Okay. But a love that is not displayed publicly mm. means that the person has not really found a love. Mm. Wow. Okay. What's an analogy? Love. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Yes, Hello? we're listening. Oh, uh, yeah. But love that is displayed publicly means that you are not ashamed of, the person. of what you possess that you have. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much for calling Olua Sheung. Thank you so, so much. So basically, he's of the view that public display of affection is good. It's a way of showing that you're yeah, proud of the person. Yeah, affirming that you're proud of this person and you're solely with the person. In a way, though, I think I see where he's coming from. Some mm. people would, you know, in fact, when we, when we look at the concept of Yoruba demons, now the concept of Yoruba demons is not limited to tribe. You Did you just, have to bring that in? No, you know why? I'm, I, I know I'm bringing it in. I'm mm. trying to explain it, what Oluwa Sheung said. Mm. Some people will say that the Yoruba, the demons, let me not even attach Yoruba to them, the demons, that the reason why people are too timing, one of the ways in which they go about it is they don't want to display you publicly, so nobody yeah. knows. So all those brothers that will come and meet you in church and say, you know, let's start a relationship, but don't tell pastor, don't tell anybody, let's keep it between us. And they have a relationship with like 10 other sisters. Oh, Lord. Because they don't want, they, and they, they tell them the same thing, and everybody's keeping to themselves, thinking, "No, oh, have a private relationship with that brother." Oh. Whereas if people are like a community of sisters having a relationship. Right. So in a way, he's saying that PDA is a way to mark your territory. But let's hear from That's other fine. people. Hello, good evening. Hello. Unfortunately, we lost that caller. Now we must realize that you know, in some countries, it's allowed. Okay, Anne is back. Anne from Portacourt. Hello, good evening, Anne. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Oh, you are looking good. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, I so what's your take on public display of affection? Uh, the take of public expression is that I so much love this. It's something that shows that the person loves you. I don't like something that's hidden things. Okay. The only thing that when you are doing it, it in a matured way. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you very thank much, you. Anne. Do it in a matured way. Do not she do it. She has a very good point. Inconvenient the others. Mm. Now, in addition to that, I'll just say that when it comes to public display of affection, understand the location, the geographic location. Understand yeah. where you are and what is permissible. We have one more call. We'll come back to talk about that. Yeah. But let's hear from our last caller. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Okay, we lost that call. So understand your geographic location and what works. So I have here the few countries mm. that allow and do not allow certain types of display of affection. <laughs> so we have here in, I think I'll start with, in Cambodia and in Thailand. Now these are Buddhist countries. Um, modesty is highly prized. So yeah. there are certain things you can't do there. There are some countries where you can't even hug the opposite sex. Yeah. If it's your friend, you can hug the same sex. So you can hug once the opposite sex. Don't even try because you might be sentenced for public indecency. So before you travel to another country to do this, understand what is obtainable in that country. Let's take one more call. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, Chukudi. How are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening, good Chukudi. Evening. Thanks for calling. Hi. All right, Shukuri, talk to us. What's your take on public display of affection? Hello? Well, what I understand is that maybe you will see someone that you have already met before and you just see her, just that you hug her and say, ah, I miss you. I think that is not too wrong with you. Okay, unfortunately, Hello. we can't really hear you, Chukudi. And yeah, we're actually straining to yeah. hear what you're saying. And we'll take our very last call since we couldn't hear from Chukudi. Hello. Let's take from Chidimi. Hello, Chidima. How are you? I'm very fine. Good Thank you so much for calling Chidima. So talk to us about people. You guys are actually looking real nice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I'd like to say the same. I'm sure you already know that you sound <laughs> Yeah, nice. public display of affection. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. I still think it's cool, but it's certain point though. Okay. okay. Because people would, would, people would literally take it further. Okay. I mean, when you hold somebody, you hug somebody, it's real cool. Mm. But you don't deviate from that path and just make it too much. Because some people would literally do some certain things they're not supposed to do outside. 
All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chidima, All for right, being thanks. our last caller for today on Hello Nigeria. Actually, concerning, you know, the intimate parts of PDA, I know that countries like Italy, for example, and some parts of Hungary, the actually, they, they, they even, I think, France, some parts of France, they have um, these uh, rooms prepared, shelter, where... When you're feeling the wiggy wiggy after your whole mild what is wiggy wiggy? Don't worry. After your whole mild public display of affection, you can't really just go into a room and do stuff. I'm not encouraging you ah, to do that. But it exists in those countries. Thank you. That's all I said. Okay, yes, continue the show. Okay, no comment. <laughs> but when it comes to public display of affection, really what we say is understand the locality you find yourself and please do not go and flout some laws. What would be obtainable in America, what would be obtainable in some other country will not be obtainable in some other parts of even Nigeria. If you go to the northern part of Nigeria where yeah. they're more conservative, you can't do certain things and get away with it. You do it, you find yourself in trouble and we're only just going to pray for you. At the end of the day, understand your vicinity and do what works for you. That is all we will say. And I have successfully not said whether or not I am in support of PD and I will not say it. We're gonna to enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.